back to the channel. Really quick video today. Today's gonna to be my first impressions on this 2022 Colorado Bison Edition ZR2. So my buddy Guy's gonna let me go for a ride. I'm gonna to get to drive it and I'll let him do some filming. I'm gonna give you my first impressions on what I think of this truck. So follow along. So here we are inside of the Colorado ZR2 uh, AVE Bison Edition. First impressions, uh, I had to step up to get into it, so it, it is high, but it is very comfortable. Ooh, we got council with a nice uh, council shifter, all your normal steering wheel controls that you would see on most uh, GMs and Chevys. And This is a diesel too, right? That's right. 2.8 liter. Uh, liter diesel so I'm gonna pass the camera over to Guy he can film while I'm driving and we'll see how that goes all right so here we go 510 kilometers on this thing no 230 kilometers oh, yeah. oh that's, it's only your, got, that's your it's only got 230 kilometers trying to find out what a bison edition ZR2 so bison is the company logo right here oh, okay so bison is the company logo and AVE is American AVE. vehicle American expedition American vehicles. expedition vehicles so that's for off-roading so I think I should take his vehicle off-roading what do you think good we should maybe just there's a little road up ahead maybe we'll just go down apparently they put some rocks in our road we'll check it out we'll try not to get it dirty though So far we've done gravel, a mix of gravel pavement, potholes, washboard, now we're on gravel washboard potholes, all combined and uh, it handles really well so far, like super well. We're gonna talk honestly here because we're all about honesty on the channel, right? That's right. And uh, it's not a rocket. Um, I'm gonna say it's uh, not underpowered, but it's definitely not a sports car. That's not why you buy them for sports cars. I think these are meant more for rock crawling, sand dune jumping. You gonna, you gonna jump some sand dunes with it? Yeah, uh, probably. Not. We're gonna go find some. No, he's probably not gonna jump sand dunes. But Oh, I think it would be fun. So this one, it's got 
your standard options that GM has for the 22s. It has, you know, the wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, got heated steering wheel, heated seats. Does it have the adaptive cruise on this one? You know the cruise no, it doesn't. Is? No adaptive cruise. Uh, you know what? That might not with that. It might not even be an option for the Colorado. I don't think so. It doesn't have the sensors yeah. on the front either. Yeah, I didn't I didn't think that was. I'm not, not sure if you can get avoid like collision avoidance and all that stuff on the Colorado. This is the, got the most options you could put and it was not an option. Yeah, so this thing is jammed. Suspension is nice and stiff where it's not bouncing you around, it's absorbing. But if that's a suspension. So we're gonna go check this out. I'm not gonna get it dirty though. I'm, if, if there's water, we won't go through it. But apparently this road here, here, I'm gonna hand off the camera. This is a road we like to go hunting down and uh, apparently they blocked it off. Is this the first time your truck's been in the bush? Yep. <laughs> I get to I get to put your truck in the bush. I, I, I get to put the truck in the bush. Yep. You know what? I'm so excited right now. I'm not going to be responsible for scratching a new truck. Dude. Good. Don't worry, I didn't have, have any mud on my boots there. I'm good. Can I go through that water puddle right there? Yes, let's do it. Sure? Yeah. Okay, can I like go real fast? It gives me an excuse to wash it. Have you washed it yet? No. So right now we're in two wheel drive. Show them this here, Guy. So if we're in 4x4, four four, you can lock the front differential and the rear differentials full lock. And that is, that's a cool option. You really want me to go through there? Yeah. yeah. I know, I know it's I not. I know you want to. Well, I know it's not going through there. You think your wife would laugh if we got stuck? No. Mine would find that hilarious. Me, no phone, no nothing. Oh yeah, she would laugh. You know you got good buddies when they let you dirty the truck for the first time. Like, he hasn't seen this on the outside yet. And uh, <laughs> so you may not want to get out of the truck because uh, it's a beautiful machine. Now I actually feel guilty getting back into it with dirty feet, but they're not that dirty. So what do you know about the truck already? I know you just got it, but so you were talking about differential locks. It yeah, looks I'm like, so right we're, we're just looking at it now because we're not really sure how the differential locks operate, whether or not you have to have a neutral 4x4. So you got rear differential lock and front. Apparently you can have both. It's got the trailer brake because this is a diesel. Uh, looks like you have hill descent here. We've got our cargo lamps. Heated seats, and this appears to be the uh, traction control. Another thing here, it does not appear to have dual climate, right? Is what you said? Yeah, has active fuel management. For diesel, really? It says. How cool is that? So we got your regular apps, weather. Oh, I see you got weather, OnStar services. You can control all the climate controls. Turn them on and off. And again, this is the diesel, so it does take def fluid. There's your climate controls. But just a word of caution, so this is going to be like my fishing video, if you're actually here to actually learn anything about this truck, or <laughs> if you think this is a review of a Colorado ZR2 Bison, 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 probably not the video for you, just showing you my first impressions, and so far, uh, I'm impressed. Okay, we're both having like a little girl giggly moment because <laughs> we have this thing right now, it's in four low and we have the front axle locked and the rear axle locked and I haven't touched the throttle through all of this mud and we're just crawling through this stuff. So look. So that's what we're going through right now. I mean, it's not, 
huge mud holes, but like right, I am not touching the throttle. Like this is just crawling and we're actually going uphill. Yeah, this is, it's like those Jeeps, you know, you put a Jeep into, you know, they had those low gears, whatever, but this is really cool. It's slow, but it's cool. Look how low that is, that is geared. No wonder, man. <laughs> you can feel the rocks slipping under. Sorry, I'm just like, really, <laughs> I'm freaking out over this right now. You can feel the rocks slipping under the tire. I'm not even touching the throttle. Like, so when I touch the throttle, doing like like eight kilometers for nine, ten kilometers per hour, and she's just uh, she just wants to go. Crazy. So here I'll show you guys how we got it into four low. All right, so we're in park right now. So we're gonna take the diff locks off, disengage the front, disengage the rear. So there are lights that tell you that they're on or off right over here. And there's your four by four and your diff lock. So you notice your trash control comes off and your ABS. Then we shift it into neutral right there and then over on the this side of the column here we got our button so i'm going to put it back to uh, put it back to two-wheel drive shift in progress and there you go we are back then put it back in gear and now we're in two-wheel drive that's, that's pretty cool that was pretty cool So he's pretty, he's pretty excited about the back seats. Yeah, we're hockey, Ontario. And look, it fits hockey sticks. That's cool. So what were you saying about the back seats? Oh, these are, these are nice leather too, eh? Yeah, so see there's uh well, here. You can either flip the seat down oops, or up. Oh, cool. And it's got a nice compartment. Your tire iron is in here. Nice. Your tools. The other side opens up, and it's a nice little compartment. You can store stuff away without having to slide all over the place. You got it. You got to pull the lever and flip it up. Okay. I see. Oh yeah. Oh, nice. So it's yeah. got like a built-in storage. Yeah. So this you you can buy this box in the full-size pickup trucks for the full-size pickup trucks. Really? Yeah. Okay. That gives you under seat storage. No, that's that's really cool. The floor mats lock. Uh, the floor mats lock together. Oh yeah. Which I think is pretty neat. Yeah, that is really cool. Not sliding all over the place. To release it, you gotta release it again. There's a handle right here. There we go. Okay. Well, he was misinforming me. It's actually this little strap here. You just pull that guy and, and the seat comes down. Oh, look at that. The headrests fold in. Nice. Just press the button and the headrests fold. Right, 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 yeah, right on the side. No, right up on the side. They're up. Yeah, right there. Oh, okay. Uh, check that I did out. did it yesterday. Nice. Yeah. Sliding back glass. Wow. Really cool. So I haven't sat in the back here. Then you even got USBs back here and you have a cigarette lighter. It's actually not bad. Yeah, well, you and I are huge guys too, That's right? That's right. You yeah. Know, we're big I'm guys. On the camera, it makes me look short. But. Yeah, the camera makes me look short too. <laughs> and old. And, and overweight. Yeah. Little porcupine. Here, puppy, puppy. <laughs> oh, not a puppy. I insulted him. Look at there. There he goes. There he goes. That's just a baby. That's a small one. It's so tiny. I want porcupine cuddles right now. So cute. And we're back. And it was a good ride. We were gone, what, half an hour, 40 minutes? Yeah. Whatever. Rear seat reminder, look in the rear seat. Did I forget Guy back there? No, he's right here. So my first impressions, I want one. My wife's impressions, you're not getting one. <laughs> All right, well, you know, that's that's how it goes. So no, I, I really like it. Uh, I mean, it looks amazing and uh, it drives amazing. It's got some cool features. I think there's a lot to learn about the vehicle. Lots that him and I don't know about it. And I guess that's just part of uh, the ownership experience and enjoying new vehicles is learning what they do and pushing them to the limits without breaking them because it's not warranty if you break it. That's right. So be careful. So. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed this little uh, five minute video of absolutely nothing other than us driving in a ZR2 Colorado 2022 Bison Edition. So thank you Guy for bringing your truck over and letting me drive it and getting it dirty for the first time. That was, that was me, so that was, that was pretty funny. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, and we'll see you guys next time.